Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those who will watch this later, because we don't have anybody on in the audience, shockingly, uh, at the moment, uh, these are the zoning citation hearings for Wednesday, February 1st, 2022. Uh, we have eight items on the agenda today. Uh, and so we have one individual here right now that's on the agenda, so we will start with him. Uh, Attorney Overs, take it away. Good afternoon. We're on the record. I'm Attorney Gary Overs. I'm the hearing officer today. To my right, representing the city of New York is John A. Duffy. Um, for your matter, you will be able to see this table or you can zoom in if that's practical. I will also hear any interested parties to the matter. The way it works is the city presents its findings and the, uh, you will have an opportunity to be heard. I'll hear any interested party. And we'll try and reach a solution that satisfies everyone. If not, I'll make a solution. We can help with it. If you have any questions, we can bring them back to the matter. So the first matter is yeah, the first one here. Uh, we'll do one river road, and we have to refer to this as the barn parcel because that is what. So, let's see. Oh, this that's great. Number three on your agenda there, keep this going home, folks. Okay. You call it the barn parcel because. And that's what the tax assessor are called. Yeah, right? everybody calls it that. <laughs> you know, it's actually the DBL. Yeah. It's actually a district block a lot. It is it? Barn. Barn. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, as we have to refer to that. Especially with their assessment. Uh, that might be not habitable, a strong uh, story. <laughs> Nobody agrees with the Yeah, no, right. Um, okay, what do we got? Why we so, got? I'm saying, you want to come in? You can sit on the outside here. You can sit over here if you want, or Hello. on that side, you can show you want to. Thank you. Sure. Um, so, the first uh, item here, this is a brand new one. I haven't seen this one yet, obviously. Um, and if you would like to swear in the Mr. Glazer? Yes. State your name for the record. Major Glazer. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay. All set. All right. You're right. Mr. Hayes. Yes. Uh, let's see. What's your camera here? Well, we didn't send a we didn't send a limo for him, unfortunately. But, uh, I, that. I know he doesn't. I'm 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 disappointed I couldn't provide. Of course, Oh, that's classic. All right. The silver light hills. <laughs> All right. So this is a brand new one, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a continuation. So back in June of last year, we we initially received a complaint regarding uh, a few different things. Uh, mm -hmm. the, yeah. This is yeah. Right, we'll it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, basically. Uh, we see a complaint about some live entertainment, some valet parking outside of where it was permitted um, via special permit and a shed that was built. Where's the shed? Yeah, well, you see it in the picture. I got that. I got that coming. So here's some pictures. This was the initial complaint. Um, I hope I summed it up enough for everybody and everybody at home. But uh, oh, okay. fair enough. So that's the shed in the back. See it. Okay. That is right here. This little guy. It can be your that one, and he maybe won't get rid of that one. Yeah. Um, so that was placed in the permit. It was only a fool, such a thing. We didn't require more than permit. We didn't require more than permit. Oh, it's not yeah. mine. It's from the email. Oh, it's it's somebody, from the email. Oh, somebody. Yeah. Said this thing. Yeah. Oh, this guy's. This guy's doing exactly. Yeah. Okay. That's why. Right. So those we can't have. Where you get it? Uh, yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Have you seen these pictures? If you want to see them, I got them on the board. I think I would have looked like in real life. I understand, but this is how we put in the evidence. And they're up there for one of those. You can object if you want. Yeah. That was a, yeah, okay. What were you going to say? You have an objection not being admitted. Reasonable protection. Well, that's it. That's a, okay. <laughs> well, I wish it wasn't me, it's not me. Hang on. Those are admitted as four exhibits. 
That's an extreme. I never look up where somebody's. Well, we can look up. Well, it's going to be part of the exhibit. The record. What are you, what are you saying? It doesn't matter if you. I just, you know. I well, can do that and look up where the. Uh, Who's the complainant? How close is the complainant? He's right next door. Now he's next door. That, that last he, photo was his. Uh, he borders. He borders that side. Yeah, the last property I think is uh, up was in the. Uh, totally. That is solution. It would be. It doesn't, it doesn't change your violation. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. So here is the. So we sent a notice. Um, and we sent a notice after because we did get multiple. We got multiple, uh, shall we say, inquiries from about this. Um, more likely from the same person, maybe the occasional. Uh, yeah, it could be that. Could be that. So that's notice to the to the property owner, and we have a green card returned, signed, and Mr. Blazer here, and he's here. So I think he's been noticed. I think he's been one notice, it's one of the witness. Okay. So, okay, God, what do you want to tell me? Is I'll never do it again. Besides that. <laughs> so here, I'll, I'll go all the way down here. So I know you're not a fan of scrolling that fast, but there we go. Here we go. Here. I'm on that fast. So basically, long story short, we have a approval here 
or the entire development of Gray Bar is the area up there on Southern Mighty. Um, from 2014. <coughs> so that's the first page there. And then hopefully it's up a little bit. So the next page is where we're talking about here in question. We have uh, here's the barn, the barn property they're referred to. This common barn on the uh, this has been oh yeah. Oh. Oh no, yeah, these are just the original. Up there? Yeah, yeah. And he's trying to let me make sure I'm, I'm uh, back in action here. Um, so basically, the premise of the landscaping was to create the buffer between the neighbors and to, which is this right here. This is the driveway access we're talking about. I can't right read here. that up close. Does it say that there's a fence there or not? Because there is a fence. We put up a fence. Halfway down in lieu of uh, landscape. Let me see. Here we go. There we go. I can get even farther in for it. There you go. Uh, on this particular plan, it does not no. show that. No. It shows a lot of greenery, though. Um, yeah. Well, this greenery is all here. This is, what is this? What's, what's the specific? Oh, I didn't. Uh, you you don't have, have a landscape. No, I didn't put the actual landscape because that plan was massive. Well, the question is, you know, because I would rather take a fence all the way down. Um, you take we've got a fence halfway down. Mm -hmm. Fences make good neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, so it's two folks. So we are we into the solution part here? Well, here, oh, here we go. We have it. Yeah. So then, basically, here the first issue was the landscaping, as you can tell from the photos. Uh, mm -hmm. This has to be a little bit more robust mm -hmm. than what's there. If they grow up? Well, if they were there, they'd grow. If they were there, they'd grow. Ah, good So because they weren't people parked there. Yeah, and then because they're that's not that, that, that was part. That's I guess some of you is that that's part and parcel of why that was there because that restricts the ability to park oh, in that yeah. asset. Right, and there is just I'm just going to say where there is one plan here. That shows a split rail right here. Yeah, which is there. But that's there. So this was so just for the hearing officer, thing, that's this plan here. Um, and basically these are two separate plans. This is the landscaping and site plan, right. and this is more of the structural plan. So this has the buildings on it, this has you know anything like a fence or a, a driveway apron or something like that. Okay. So you kind of got to combine the two here. So if the problem is you really not enough parking, why are they parking? Well, well the parking here because this is, is parking for the uses up there and also a valet service. You know what I'm saying? Those valets can they go in there, they can yeah, park yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, they run a valet full time. Yeah, I don't I mean I understand customers don't. Yeah, we don't want them. Why is it? Okay, so, that, so we have a full time valet. Yeah, it was just Part of the approval was that, as you can probably tell, the neighbors had some requests, if you will, right. um, for you know, well, it's really done it actually can't do it. Right. right. And so the only thing is this area here, it really is supposed to be just an asset. Right. right. And, and the guys, when they were getting too tight, they were parking. Yeah. That was the issue. And that's what they objected to. So the landscaping, which we will do in the spring, will, I mean, we've got, you know, land. Yeah, yeah. We'll be able to mitigate, you know, anything we're doing that. So, you know, we're going to get that shed out of there. <laughs> and I'll, I'll also put out there for uh, uh, this later, did actually submit a plan to us uh, earlier this week to actually either remove the shed, but then also legally place it behind right. the building as storage. Right. It's just a matter. I have to go to our site planner just to make sure yeah. that that doesn't trigger anything that he needs to write a quick letter to the commission to get a blessing. Right. Yeah. So basically, there's nothing I can do except move, move the shed until planting season. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, that is the long and short of it. That's good. So, I won't, so we should just continue. Yeah, continue yeah. until May when I can plant. And right. Then I'll uh, I'll consult the original uh, landscape. Right, and if you do want to change, yeah, if you do want to change, you can let us know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and if you do, if we can get a shed. Uh, if I can issue it over the counter yeah. uh, on the back, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're not going to use that structure. Well, then, no, or yeah, any in kind shed. Then. Oh, that would, yeah, that would actually look good. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Let yeah. uh, I me mean, just double check <laughs> really quick there, Counselor. We do have a participant here. Uh, let me check. Oh, it's uh, okay. It's one of our other items. So that's fine. I know who that is. So, not for Okay. Well, we obviously don't have any main hearing yet, so no, we can figure out a date here. Give me a Wednesday, and yeah, give me like middle of the month. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot of there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that can be 17. It actually works well for me because we do have a uh, April meeting chalking scheduled for the 15th, so that gives me a good time to get to the meetings to notices and things like that. Continue okay. to May 17th hearing. I'm um, giving you notice now. We're not going to send it. Expect shed remove and think for the boys. Paintings to be Okay, so now, who's there? Want to come on up and uh, put on down there? This is very good soup. Vegas.
Right, but a uh, certain member of the presenting board would be here. So we had to reschedule, so that's why we sent Peter out for delivery for a change of here. Thanks, here. I can present to everybody. I need to do that. There you go. There you go. Your Uh, she is, this is Jordan. Oh, where do you use this, right? State your name for the record. Jordan Is your right hand, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes. So, we'll start off with notice, obviously. So, we have, this is the notice on the screen, and there's Mrs. Caro Jordan. The last time your husband joined her as well. Okay. And that's for today's hearing. And this is Constable Bondi's um, service. Right there. And also, it's not included in the record, but I got this back this morning. Uh, that's the green card certified mail that returned. So I am going to present that we have proper notice. This is Very good. Uh, so, for those at home, um, basically this is, uh, this was a referral from the fire marshal's office um, and the health department for a um, unpermitted five family, an illegal five family, there should be a four family, and at the time there was also a commercial business uh, being operated out of there, uh, nail salon. So, um, for those of us, again, for those at home, uh, the nail salon was removed. Um, in, uh, however, the use of the five family still exists, and we do not have an application yet to remedy that, whether that is through a variance or through a uh, removal of the And I was not here for the last hearing, so I do apologize for me being a little brief. Who's here for last year? Uh, Danny. She was still out. She um, She could be. Good question. This is kind of serious. No, it is a serious one. No, it is a legal one. Yeah, we don't get too many of these. Sure. Yeah, but then, it's where you do a comedy with me if you want. Oh, hang on. I got cleared. Well, I'm back. You're great. I'm For the record. I'm Kenny Maldonado, zoning enforcement officer. We're here on this um, to you remember this? I did, I remember. Okay, so this is the nail salon has been removed apparently. Yes. But we have nothing towards the five family being downsized. Correct. Have you discussed it with Ms. Jordan? Um, we briefly discussed it. We were supposed to have a follow-up meeting. Yeah. So, uh, we haven't had that meeting yet. And yeah, it's going to be any progress. I see that this record here shows no tangible effort. Yeah. So, if she would set a meeting with us within three weeks. And this is to discuss the possibility of applying for a variance. In yeah, the meantime, this is not a minor violation. Right. Talking about a setback. That's 
continue but I'm raising it to five Please contact the document. I mean, so if you want, do you want to make sure my sister got your card? You're going to say, sorry, right. okay. All right. Um, you want to come around that side just so we can. Like come around the spot. Or do you want to grab it? I'll just grab it. Okay, I'll be right back. Sounds good. All right. This is ready to go. Ready to go. Goes back to you. Ready. Okay, you're coming down to 23rd. I'm uh, 20. Sorry, 22nd. 22nd. Here and I say just let me know if you can make it. Great. If you can't, let me know. Yeah. You're all set. You're all set. Oh, nice thing this morning. Thank you. Thank you. And then, and I hope, by that time, it won't be okay. No problem. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, we got the early arrivals. So I think we should, I think we should reward his uh, promise. Take a minute. I'm trouble to see me. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get organized here for a second. It's going to be far June. 14. Please, right. come on up. Here? Here. So this is previous. And here we go. This is the easy. Okay. That's what I was Hey, look at that. Who's right there? Okay, that's Fantastic. So, when I was. We're in the Here's your name. Lee. Deacon. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay. Very good. Let's hear what the story Duffy has to say. All right. So, uh, the reason you're going to see that there's no constable service here is because the last time we were here was on January 4th, and Luis was here. So, we had oral notice for today. Okay. So, we didn't, we didn't, he's here. So he's here. It doesn't work. Okay. The system works. Um, so, uh, basically, this was uh, continued to have the driveway resolved uh, and or at least the mission progress towards that. Um, in the meantime, I just want to share with the, uh, with the uh, hearing officer, this was what I received from the uh, assistant building official, Peter Kelly. Um, he did an inspection because there was a structure added. So the reason that this is important for our is that this is in the proposed driveway. Structures in the driveway. Where the driveway would be that we're trying to resolve here. So this is enough for a building department. He sent the ticket, I'm ticket. No, yeah, I'm yeah, right. Mm -hmm. This is fine. This is what it looked like. It yeah, used this way. This picture is accurate. Yes. So that's a full view. Yeah, I'll take a. I'm sure I'm sure that 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 I'm sure uh, what is this picture about? Uh, you know, whenever I get something from another department, I include everything. This is just showing the steps off of the oh, deck. The deck that 
That's also part of the plot. We'll okay. get into that. Keep going. Okay. So the reason that that is there is this, the deck has to be permitted as well. That's the twofold of this violation. The driveway has to be resolved. And we have to be a permit for the deck. So this deck doesn't have a permit. But it has an original permit, but it was altered, possibly expanded just a little bit um, from what the original one was. So we have to get a permit for those adjustments. So, uh, and that, that's really is pretty that is simple. And the one thing I do want to point out, one of the requirements was to get a termination on the driveway. Yeah. I have been informed by Public Works, by the permitting engineer, Wilbur Giron, uh, verbally, that uh, the property owner has been in contact with an engineer uh, because Public Works says that he, he can't keep the driveway. Um, oh, he's, he's, he can keep the driveway, however, he needs to do a stormwater analysis from an engineer. And he has retained that engineer, and I know the engineer personally for many, many years working here. And um, assuming, you know, after his analysis that it's something that the property owner still wishes to keep, um, that's really all that's needed. He has to take this down? Was already removed. Huh. And steps going. Well, the step, well, the steps are going to. Yeah, but there's something. You're going to do something with it because you have to permit the deck. Zoning doesn't care, but the issue is, whenever we permit a deck, we permit everything: the deck, the stairs, the railings, everything. So that does have to be resolved as part of the deck permit. But we haven't gotten there yet. We're waiting on the driveway and the deck aspect of this easy. So what are we up? To, what are we expecting by next? Uh, if we give a little bit of time, which I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm for, if we give a little bit of time to at least have the uh, engineer have something for the property owner, his analysis. Uh, that's not gonna, it's going to be a little more than three, four weeks to get that done. But that's just what they are. In the meantime, this has been removed. And this has been removed, yes. Okay. That is still there. Okay. okay, so things seem pose any danger? No, it doesn't. No, but that doesn't pose any danger. Deck is, other than the stairs, is, uh, is okay. pretty well made. Um, so I would not have a problem with recommending from staff a, uh, at least just to see where it's at, six eight weeks. You have anything to say? This is your time. Uh, the friend of the ETA, what he said it he said that if you just uh, did a call back in maybe four weeks. Oh, yeah. That's about yeah. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Mr. Adaki is saying six to eight weeks. That should give you plenty of time. Yeah. Eight weeks. Okay. 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 Now, let's see what we got. Uh, we have, let's see, so February, April. April 1st is two months. That's a Saturday. So, we don't want to do that. So, how about we have a meeting on the 12th. Already scheduled. Great. Okay, now I have it in my Perfect. Okay. So <laughs> continue to four twelve. Okay. I'm going to put a fine in here. I think it's a con in terms of thousand dollars, finally had. Yep, that's and it. And you actually did what you could do next to us. That's not. Progress. Okay. Give me Yeah, I Oral notice. As you notice, I'm back to the 12th. Contingent fine, thousand dollars. Powers of questions. Okay. Hey. And when you get that, if you get the engineering done with Public Works, so you get all of them, come down and let me know. <laughs> yeah, he said it put me in maybe in three weeks. That's about right. No, that's, that's, you're saying if, if, one week, the, if you said three months, I wasn't going to work. But <laughs> three, three weeks. All right, you're all you're all set.
Thank you, my friend. More people have shown up. Yeah, they're just trickling in. This is getting better. You should be so serving happy hour. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, and I wasn't here for this one, unfortunately. But uh, at that hearing, we had a uh, violation continues, uh, various attempts to resolve underway. Uh, you made a uh, uh, note that the owner should have representation by this meeting, <laughs> and a contingent fine. Uh, I can't read that. Sorry. It's like twelve thousand one hundred dollars, but that doesn't make sense. So that needs to be twelve thousand even is what yeah. that makes more sense. Um was well, is placed on the property. Uh so what I have here, very easy. This here is for work without permits for construction of a detached structure. That sounds redundant. Um and there it is. Go there. Oh, that's for your one. Yeah. Uh and so now, so now this is where I get a little more worried than I normally am. And it is so on the 31st, the property owner stopped into our office with potential counsel to help them resolve these matters. And we had a good, thorough discussion. I think we made a lot of progress. I know that sounds like a uh, psychiatric thing, but we made a lot of progress and uh, we're, in, we're going to a good place. But the only thing I had to mention is that at yesterday, the council that I was speaking with was not retained by the property. However, I don't have this for the uh, viewers at home. So hopefully it's on the camera there somewhere. This was a from an email I got this afternoon from uh, the council, which I, who I met with yesterday, that's why I have the business card here, uh, and he has been retained by the property. I guess we're going to do that, huh? Yeah, so he, he's just going to get a continuance. Right. So, uh, and I will be meeting with uh, with Raymond as. Uh, when I get back from being out, I will be uh, meeting with him. We'll go over everything that um, needs to be done. Okay. All right. So, what time? How much of it? I didn't say how much time it was. No, this is going to be a little complex. Um, so, I would say just to allow me the 22nd wouldn't be February 22nd. Um, so, I would say we can do the March 15th. Just to allow for uh, myself and uh, council to go over everything in, in fine detail as to what we have. Yeah, no, yeah. I'll just put it on no, no. Speak outside this. Oh, I don't want to hear anything that was actually present. Continues. Continued. Fine. Continued. March 15. This is all notice. Me now. It's Junior lawyer. Cancel two. Perfect. Alex, we're all set. Yes, that's a, well, now you can put on the record. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, get away with that. that. Normal must <laughs> I mean, you can deal with a human being. The same thing we do. A very human being who tries to help. And I want to avoid exactly what I was saying. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Take care. Have a good afternoon. Thank 
Share for a moment. Get organized here. Okay. Okay, Roberta and Daniel, I'm going to have you guys unmute. Um, and this way we can get you into the hearing and we'll go from there. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That works. I'm trying to do that. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got something there. All right, I think we got some action here. All right. Roberta, can you hear me? And you gotta unmute you gotta unmute yourself. All right. All right. There we go. Okay. All right, sorry. That's okay. You you got me now? Yeah, do you hear me now? Yep, gotcha. All right. Okay. All right. Roberta, here's what we're going to, I'm going to go through the presentation and just hear me out on the presentation, then we'll get to you. Okay. Okay. Seven now bill. Yeah. Oh, geez. I get this. And here's previous and here's today. Okay, you notice everything. We'll go through the whole routine. Yeah, we'll go through the we'll routine. All right, uh, Roberta, I'm going to pause you for one second and I'll go through my routine and then I'll bring you back. Yeah, sure. All right. Where's my screen? There we go. And we're going to do that. And we're going to do this here. Okay. So uh, I got approved notice here. So I will do that. With uh, We have a hearing notice for today. Uh, February 1st. And here is the constable service. And I'll put that on the screen for the record. There it is. And we have Roberta here. Uh, she has been representing the owners from pretty much the beginning of this all the way back in 2014. No, she's a sister. Yeah, no, that's, that's not okay. I find notice here. Let's go next. Okay, do you want to uh, swear in the... Uh, all right, Roberto, we're going to swear you in, all right? Yeah, sure. State your name for the record, please. State your name. Uh, Roberta Smith. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, I will. I do. Thank you. Okay. Put your hand down. Roberta, you can put your hand down. You're good. Okay. So uh, basically, this is one that has been, I'll be honest, it's been around my desk for quite some time. Um, last time we were here was on September 21st. And at that time, at that time, a uh, fine, a contingent fine. Was placed. I'm really sorry. Could I just sure. I don't know what the case is about. Oh, it's a. Uh, I remember this. There was a. Uh, there was a illegal. It was deemed an illegal free family in a single family house. They have an accessory apartment on the upstairs and a basement unit that was on the first floor. And this was just basically a matter of we just had to get through the construction, get through the permitting process. That's really what it was. 
I have pictures. I can just a couple of pictures bring you back. Yes, um, can I talk? Or I'll let you finish. Hang on, Roberta. We'll get to talk as long as you want. We just get over here. Gotta find some good photos for me. Here we go, sir. I don't know. Like I have photos. Because they were drunk. Yeah, they were drunk because the, we, uh, we got the violation from the health park. So then a permit was pulled and we put it on the. Wait, this was yeah. back when Eileen was here. Oh. We put it on here to try, shall we say, expedite the process. Um, so the permit is still. Very, I can show you the permit. Is that my ring bell? Permit. And it's kind of the floor plans. And these were all were approved by us. All approved. There's our signature. And this was an, a previous permit back in 2002. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so basically, we're just here because. Uh, now I know on the uh, on the screen here it says the November 16th. Uh, due to after it, before the 16th, I had well my medical leave and there was a little bit of miscommunication with the office and myself about when next hearings were going to be. And I passed the message on to Roberta that her hearing would be later than November. I was mistaken. I was probably still under the influence of my surgery. And obviously, and so we had a little miscommunication. You know, this says the 16th. We never actually met for this one on November. 15th. So therefore, this is the next year. Okay. Hence is why I had to send a note. Okay. Right. So, and can I? Oh, I go ahead. Oh, almost there, Roberta. Almost there. And okay. Go through all these notices. There we go. That, and so that was, we did send notice for November. They were going to be here, but I had to backtrack to today. So um, basically, I want to show this email here. And I'm going to try and make this one my, we're going to make this short and sweet. So we had a, our inspector, you met him before, Josh. Um, yeah. He went out and did an inspection. I can get that. We now did an inspection in November, and when he did the inspection, man, keep in mind I'm not in the office, uh, and he found several things incorrect, but he thought were incorrect. So I had to get back to the office and see exactly what the heck happened here. And so I had a conversation with Josh. Josh has unfortunately left the office. He is no longer with our office. So I have now taken the file back. So it is in my possession. So I can put things along. Get lost. And I will. And, and so basically, what I would request is now that I've gone through the file, I have seen what Josh took pictures of on his inspection. I would respectfully ask for a continuance by the staff by on my my accord uh because of just to get communication back to what needs to be done and i can talk i can meet with roberta and get everything squared away and you need to april right, april will be nice i can do march i can do i'm asking you what you want i can do april that's fine that's what it says here i can do april okay you want to speak now the staff is recommending. I know. I was just. I was just listening. Now you say Dosh is not with zoning anymore. Correct. That's good news. Okay. <laughs> Careful, Roberta. You're on the record. Careful. We want personal comments. Careful. You might, is it okay? Personal. Yeah. No, it, it did get personal with him. Uh, the silliest, most ridiculous things he was pointing out. But uh, we're going to discuss it. Roberta, you want uh, any objection to continuing in this fight? Oh, no, I have no objection. We can wait and I'll talk with John about the little problems. Yeah, let me make my rulings. And we'll... Here we go. I'm checking this as in person. Yeah, she's here. It's in person. Yeah, yep. maybe those electronic. It's, yeah, she's there. 
violation continues. I'm on such a little screen. I'm not on a big full screen. I, I'm on like a, I see your, you on a screen that's only about an inch, an inch, an inch and a half. But you can see in here. I don't have a full screen. I don't have a full screen of you, but I see you and hear you okay. Okay, as long as you can hear it, we're good. That's that's important. Okay, it's very it's very small though. There was a contingent fine, ten thousand dollars. You want to continue that along? I'm not going to fine you. Let me find ten thousand dollars remains in place. You just did this. Hang on. Just did this. I know, right? Uh, April, I want to say it was April 5th. Uh, April 12th. Well, April 12th, 23. Okay, Roberta. If you tune in this April 12th, you'll come back on April 12th. Uh huh. Uh, all right. All right, you can come through. Or you can get a bigger screen, whatever you want. <laughs> whichever one you want. Yeah. OK, and all the emails I sent to you, John, you got them all? We got them, and that's uh, why we're going to go through, and we're going we're gonna to hammer everything out. Uh, OK, I appreciate it. Sure. So you're all set, Roberta. Just put in your notes uh, the 15th of, uh, sorry, the 12th of April will be the next year. The next hearing, but aren't I going to hammer it out with you between now oh. and then? Well, we, we would hope so. We, we, if we do, keep in mind, if we do, we still have to come here to close it, to close everything out. Oh, no problem. As long as it's settled, you know, we got, okay, because, I mean, the, the big stuff has all been done. The big things have all been completed. We'll we'll take care of it. Don't worry. We'll we'll get it. We'll get it taken care of. Uh, okay. So when can I call you or email you? I'll I'll shoot you an email. I'm actually out of the office after today for a few days. I'll give you a I'll give you an email when I come back. Okay. All right. All right, Roberta. All right. Thank you. you have a good rest of your week. Yes. You you too. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 How do you get out of here now? There's a big Okay, I was gonna. I thought for a minute that everything was gonna be stuck. Uh, she's done. Very good. Okay. Well, we organize here. Okay. Yeah. Nobody else is here. Shame, really. You want to say anything? I don't. You can be frank and honest, I'm out of here at 609, so I get on the 609 train. Yeah, you keep frank and honest. Yeah, they need to do that. All right, let's start. Uh, no, I know that nobody's here. Somebody's actually quite easy. You know, being completely honest. That, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And. So hopefully we can, I think I might get in that actually, even if I didn't have anything, but I think we can get through this pretty quick. If I didn't have anything pressing. Might as well go in order. Uh, so four Lewis Street is the next one, and here I'll get the previous decision form. Uh, 
previous decision point. And currently, All right. Are you All right, so uh, we'll do some housekeeping first here. Scroll down a bit. There we go. So here is uh, here's my hearing notice for today. And because we didn't have a February date pinned down, we just said because this was more than like four months out. I said, oh, here's February. There's a result. This is why we can't do that again. We're about to see. <laughs> this is why we can't. <laughs> so here, here's Constable Bondi's. Uh, I'm not sorry. That's my notice for today. That's Constable Bondi's delivery. There. So Miss Kellogg and uh, Attorney Murphy got a hold of me when Constable Bondi dropped the uh, service. Uh, I guess this is the problem we have with not picking a date. Is uh, Attorney Murphy is actually in court today? Okay, not able to make it, and even Mrs. Kellogg couldn't make it today either. For each other point, so they have both respectfully asked me to continue this to March. I mean, I'm okay with that. Just be, I don't know what kind of if, if I'll do my a quick. Very quick explanation of what's happening here. So, um, just for the record's sake, uh, this uh, violation is for placement of a shipping container, which should not be there. Uh, this was a picture from September showing the container. And this is a little farther out. I forgot to hit the zoom button, but you get the idea. Still there. What's the problem? Well, in an East Avenue Village District zone, shipping containers of four oh, they need to leave back here for evidence. For evidence, and the claim by the property owner is that the items that are in there contain asbestos and asbestos dust, so it would be a big hindrance to remove those in the environmental all that. Well, I just I'll put on the record. I'll put the record that. I contacted the city health department, the uh, assistant health um, director, and he said that they have nothing on file for this property and they have them. They actually have no file on this property whatsoever. Well, even if it is, what's their, it's their space forever? I, that's the that's the thing. The idea is that they're in, I'm willing to go more in the direction. Oh. I will go with more of the uh, attorney Murphy route is that the items in there are a part of litigation that he is currently undertaking. Right, right, I can right. So, but I do, I would like an update on it from him. So that's why I would like to continue it just so that we can have attorney Murphy in here, or at the very least, he can give me an update outside of here uh, to see where this is going. Because you're right, this can't stay here forever. But if litigation yeah, we continue to wait for the money question. All right, so we will continue this based on saying late February and based on what's your what's his name? Great work. 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 Great uh, we do have a March hearing. Right. That is the 15th. Right. Let's make sure I'm, I am saying that correctly. Yes, that is the 15th. So we do have that, so I have no problem putting it on there. We have a white agenda at the moment. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay.
You're not going to find them either. I may have recommended some of that. Is it violation of continues matter continued to March 15th? 315 Nobody yeah. no, no, no. I believe this is I just want to hear from Attorney Murphy what it that's all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right yeah. We got one of the first. Uh, yes. That's it. <laughs> Check that. Uh, we'll, we'll go down next. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can give you a big hit. I give you a big hit. Oh, it's uh, your paint guys. Jonathan Training? Yeah. No, the other way. Of course, Train Training. <laughs> There's a there's a ninety five. And his restaurant. Uh -oh. Up from the turkey. Up from the turkey. The landmark in Morawa. Okay. There's the board rooms there on the right aid, board rooms the right aid, yeah. You can go big parking lot to this. But you go the other way towards the train station. From right aid. It's uh, Fort Peck. Fort Peck. Maybe Fort Village. Church. It's a uh, oh, it's in half. I'll get on. I'll be there. Belly. Okay. <laughs> this belly is doing this new one. Brand new, yes. So we gotta start from the beginning here, but that's okay. Nice short memo for you. No, oh, I got it. Okay, and actually, I, I will. Also, this book, this may have been the uh, how can I put this? This might be the impetus to some change that happens between interdepartments between the health department zoning fire building. In that, I'll explain it too, but this might be something in the end is going to help the city as a whole. So, uh, first things first, we got the complaint. Uh, it's not a complaint, it's a forward from the health department, um, and they investigated a Attic space being used as an apartment uh, without permits. Uh, in fact, it was a hazard. They had to vacate the apartment uh, because the only egress and access was through the second unit bedroom. Not just the outside, the bedroom. So that was pretty bad in that um, So based on this and the, the request of the health department to, let, uh, to put some irons in the fire here. Um, Owner of record is WKCR LLC. And then this is the uh, Connecticut record, the Connecticut business record here. So there's for the record, for our record, 194 East Ave ownership, WKCR LLC. State of Connecticut business registration is Michelle Maggio. A member and agent of the WKCR LLC. And that is where we sent the notice.
and we'll have a few little housekeeping. Uh, we did get a uh, green card back. Sure. It works. That's what matters. And well, I'll pass this for now. And here we go. Citation sent on the 19th of January. This one was interesting. The green card came back from the post office, from the postmaster, or the postman, I should say. Sorry. Let's change your type font. Yeah, that's how I spell it. Different street citation. The little thing for me, I it works. So this is what we got back from the post post office for a green card. Oh, that's great. So they tore it off. I presume they dropped it there or handed it to somebody. I don't know. I'll never know. But they gave me that back. So because if they if it comes back as undeliverable or, or unclaimed as they put it on there, I attach it with this and I say, okay, let's try again. But I didn't get that. We have a letter to attach that, so it's somewhere in the ether. I have no idea where it is. So my claim here, I, I, I am skipping ahead just a little bit. Uh, we did have constable service on this. Actually, no, my apologies. We did not have constable service. I apologize. We didn't because. We had this back. The owner's son contacted me and said that he will forward this to his mother, Michelle, and she reached out to me today because she was out of state. But she did accept that her, they did receive that there is a problem and said they are, they will look to address it. Now, the reason I want to bring this, the reason there's a gap here, and it's not me being out, between the citation being sent in January of this year and the notice being sent in August, is up here, this email. So what happened was the apartment was vacated at the directive of the health department. However, the health department stated to the property owner the term every government inspector hates, you're all set. So they thought they were all set with everything because they vacated the apartment, whereas zoning and building do not have any record of that attic even being able to be finished. And that's why if you have a finished attic, that's why you have to get permits to make sure that it is safe for habitation with building code. So that's why I sent the citation, and that's what's going to cause the change in the way we operate. The health department and the fire marshal have changed their notices to put on the bottom to say, so, uh, basically, even though there's been an eviction and the tenant has been removed, that may not satisfy all municipal requirements and code. And the police will say, please check with that okay, makes sense. That has never happened before in the history of NOAA, from my mind or so. All, everybody's notices, just basically when they say, oh, you're cured. Yeah, you're okay. cured. Okay, uh, proof from the city. Yeah, right here. But, okay, it's proof from that portion of the city. All right, yeah, that's good. good thing to do. Oh, and that was the health right. department actually initiated that when I told the assistant director what happened. So that was actually uh, a good thing for the city. So, anyway, I am. Just given the fact that I got some communication, albeit 11th hour, got some communication, there's a willingness to work. It's just the uh, property owner who could speak for this is not here. Uh, I would like to, once again, start filling up that March 15th hearing and let's push it to that. Is that St. Patrick's Day? The two days later. We, oh, it could be our own St. Patrick's Day. Oh, oh, absolutely. No, I would not do a St. Patrick's Day here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Now we are down to it. And there was, and there was. And this one, even better. I think it's even better than the rest of these. Previous one and that one. Third one. I need to get my uh, share screen here. Yeah. Right. So. Like I said, I alluded to, there's some good news here. We'll do some housekeeping. That is our hearing goes for today. And this is Constable Monty Service. For today. As a reminder, I have a photo here. Well, we'll do previous, previously, we were here on the 30th. Now, Tammy was here for that one as well. But I think we can also, we can. Let me repeat for a little bit here. Um, it was continued to the 8th, which is why we needed the constable service today. And a contingent fine if uh, of $1,000 if still in violation by that time. Now, as a reminder, this is what it, the issue was. And here it is on the screen. Unregistered vehicle in the front step back. Uh, the issue is the uh, it's a junk car, and the property itself is a little messy. I'll leave it that way. The, the re of respect to the owner for not being here. Um, the owner actually, and I just I can't bring it up on here. He sent me an email showing this does have a plate now, a legitimate registration plate that uh, he just sent that to me literally four minutes before our hearing. So I did not have a chance to print it out, and I can, for some reason, not access my email on this contraption. So what I will do is I wanted to just briefly continue this so I can go up and verify that that plate is still on there. And if it is, then I can bring this back and I can request that the file be closed in the fine way. Or if for some reason, this was a bit of a trick, and they just put a plate down there from another car that they have. We'll address that. So actually, this one, if we wanted to continue it to the 22nd, we could, because I'll be up there as soon as I get back. I would have had it present if I had one more. One more notice on it. We're we're broke. Let's get this together here, and I will. Uh, this 
tell you, I'm not going to tell this story. That's a wreck. Here. This. Now. This is for us to move over. We come back. We'll go to the left. Oh, not yet. Not yet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for the, as all for today. Our next hearings are on February 22nd. Why did I do that coming back from vacation? I don't know, but I did. So I will see you all on the 22nd. And we're going to stop recording.